Hey y'all, welcome to the Figure Spotlight, and today we're going to be unboxing a new League of Legends statue. I just got it in today. I haven't told any of you guys that I've gotten this figure, and it just arrived, and I'm excited to open it and show you guys. It is one of the new League of Legends uh, statue for the Unlock series. It is Jen. So right here, boom, got the newest one, it just came in. And hopefully this will um, make a great decision for you guys, you know, once I unbox it, check it out and see if this is something you want to add to your collection or maybe a perfect gift for someone else. So before we, we dive in into this unboxing of the new League of Legends Gin for the uh, Unlock series, uh, if you could, if you could support me, um, if you could hit that like, subscribe, and if you have any questions in the, in the, uh, of this figure or anything else in general, feel free to write it down below. I'm always here to try to reply back to you guys, answer any questions, and uh, let's just dive right into this. So here we go. We're gonna start with the look of the box, and then uh, we'll open it. So we're gonna start with the front of the, the box here. Uh, you can obviously see here Jen sketched out. Um, this is what the statue here is gonna look like. We do have right here in the middle, it's red, where it says Jin Unlocked. So if you don't know the Unlock series, uh, basically the Unlock series is all statues and currently they have made this one's number 14 and recently they just added a new one right after this one and I also purchased it and it should be here within a week and a half or maybe next week sometime um, and that is the new Ari Unlock statue figure so definitely check that out when that time comes so anyways let's dive back into the box so that's the Unlock series are typically just statue fig figures from Riot Games um, they're pretty nice figures actually. Um, so right here, this one, if you look at the corner here, it says number 14 up in the corner. Um, nothing else really to anything else in there. Let's look on the side. Here we have where it says number 14 in the background in like kind of a dark red. It says Jin unlocked. And then right here we have where it says the Vertoso. I could be pronouncing that wrong, but I'm sure that is the character and like who he is. Um, so sorry if I messed that up. I'm usually not the best at pronouncing things, so I am going to apologize for that. Um, and then right here, we I do know what this is. This is the Marksman class for the character, since he is an AD carry. Then on the back of the box here, we do have the you know, that red going all the way across. It says League of Legends. We have some more information on the bottom here that just shows you, you know, Riot Games. Merch.RiotGames.com and where you can purchase this figure at. So definitely check that out. I'll try to put the link down below if you guys want to get one of these. Um, you can. Next thing here is just on the other side of the box, pretty much has the same thing where it says 14, um, which is the number uh, series for this number figure here. Um, same thing with the marksman and stuff like that. And then on top, we do have the logo of where he's from. Um, I can't remember this one exactly, but I'll try to post a picture and the name of that here um, on there for you. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. So, all right. It's just been taped on. We're gonna just pop this open. Just one piece of tape. Boom, boom. So when you first open it, it does come with a red riot card. Pretty cool. Let's put this down and slide this out. All right, so nothing else in the box. We're gonna put that on the side for now. And we're going to check this out. This is in a nice, well-protected case in the box, so hopefully it's not damaged or anything like that. So the first thing I'm going to do here is take this card out. This card just slides you right out. Kind of feels like a credit card or a debit card. On the back of this uh, card, there is a code, which I'm covering up. But this code here uh, will make sure you can get, you can basically get on the uh, Riot's website. You can make sure this figure is uh, a true figure um, by putting that code in. It's and and I. I authenticates it basically. So really cool. The card is in red now. Um, most of these cards, if you see my uh, previous videos uh, of other figure unboxings, they are black. Or they have a picture of a design, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up. So, um, I don't see any tapes on here. Oh, there is. They are taped. There's four pieces of tape. Typically, I just cut one side and then I just open up from there. That's I'm gonna open it up and kind of the door. Boom. So we have the gin. It's all in one piece so far, it looks like. We're gonna pull it out. And 
it is wrapped in a protective plastic casing. And there it is. Jin right there. And I haven't even looked at it. You guys get the first look at the front of him before I do. So let me take a look at Jin here. So obviously Jin here, he's got that classy pose of him, uh, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, it's going to look great with all my other League of Legends figure statues. So it's definitely, um, I'm definitely going to take a look at this and see um, if there's any mistakes or how good it is. And you guys can decide yourself if you guys like this figure. So, alright, so what we do like normally with all the figures that I unbox, we kind of look at all the details on the figure in a close-up shot. And um, I'll try to point out if there's anything weird or anything like that or anything cool. So we're going to start with Jen here on the front of his face. That creepy face. So I know you probably, there's some Jen mains out there and I'm sorry. But that is, I mean, let me just show you his face. It is kind of, uh, kind of creepy. I, I mean... Unless you guys just love Jin that much and you can stare at his face, go for it. But uh, it is pretty unique though, for sure. You know, with Jin, with the type of character he is, uh, you can see just that one eye. Look at that. Let me pull that back to you guys. So you can see there it is his uh, one eye on this side. His right side, or maybe when you guys are looking at it on his left side, there's actually, you don't see his other eye over there. I don't even know if he has an eye over there, to be honest. But maybe you guys know in the comments below if you guys know more about Jin. Uh, but uh, definitely, um, you can see that one eye. Pretty cool. Then, uh, if you turn around his head, you can see um, he's got this nice little gold marking on the back of his head right there. Look at that. Kind of a unique design. You can see there, it's kind of like a sparkly gold. So, on here, on his like cape, I guess you could say, that goes around him, this is actually very. Um, let me see if I can hold him more, I can show you. Um, it does can move. I mean, it's pretty, I would say it's pretty durable. Uh, but definitely be careful with this here on these parts here that are kind of hanging off them. They do bend and move. Um, on the shoulder here, where it basically protects his shoulders, um, you can see here it's in gold. Kind of cool, sticking out right there. And over here on the other side as well. You can see here over on his... Um, left arm here he's got his gun that he normally shoots when he just does massive damages when he when he gets up you know built up does that single shot on him um very cool there's his like i guess you can call it a pistol or whatever you want to call it um you know i wouldn't say it's too detailed and you know you can see there like right there and in the middle let me see if i can point that out to you the green by the white here it's kind of not the best paint set you know they kind of you know touched that up a little bit better it's just a very minor thing. It's not going to be really that noticeable on there. You can see here that on his gun, it's kind of like a teal and blue. So if you look on there, depending on where the blue is painted on the gun and in the teal. And then the rest of it is kind of highlighted in a gold metallic paint. Um, this here looks very, um, I wouldn't say it's easy to break, but definitely be, that's definitely something you want to be careful of when you're you know, holding this figure or showing it. Um, it, it looks like something that can easily break. But it's, it's pretty durable, I would say. So there was kind of a front view of that gun. And then here is the back side of the gun if you need to see different angles. All right, so now let's get into the front and the back of the cape. You can see here we have a nice little gold diamond right there in gold, and I think it looks like teal. Then you have this cape part here with the nice graphics going on there with the swirl, which I think is awesome. I think that matches well with the character of his original skin. Uh, you can see that swirl also going around on the back of the cape as well. Now, to be honest, I'm not sure if this is called a cape or anything, but it looks like a cape to me. Um, or something that just like kind of like a robe or a cloak that goes over him. Uh, so I do apologize as I don't know the actual terms of clothing. Uh, but uh, it is pretty unique uh, for this character. Now, let's look at his other arm. His other arm looks like it's mechanical. You can see here, or it's just really shielded really well. Um... You can see here it's all gold armor. Really cool. You can see kind of the details how it breaks up into the, you know, his, his elbows and arms and fingers and his hands, which is really cool. And you can see here on when he's posed, he is also showing his other weapon, which is I think that's his long shotgun right there. When he does use his ultimate, uh, he'll definitely you know, you'll see him crouch down and he's shooting far away with his single shots, right? 
Um, really, really cool setup there. When he opens, I think it's called Opens the Curtain. Um, it's been a while since I played League of Legends, so I'm sorry if I don't remember the names. I'll try to see if I'll post it. Uh, maybe a GIF or a picture of him using that ultimate. But that is part of that there. So pretty cool. Um, on here you can see his pants. Kind of reminds me of like a ninja outfit. Um, if you look under here, you'll see here it kind of looks like a baggy purple pants. You know, like a ninja would wear. You no, know, they would probably wear black. But um, you can see that underneath there as well. And this here reminds me of Naruto, of like Orochimaru, <laughs> where he wears the, like, I think it's white on him, if I remember correctly. But uh, this one here is blue for what's strapping on his uh, pants there. It's tied around him. Then you can look at his uh, legs. You can see there, they're all kind of similar to his arm, you know, how it's all gold and like mechanical. His legs are as well. So you can see that there, it gets really skinny here, which is kind of unique looking for his uh, um, legs there. And then on on his feet here, you'll see that um, um, just it's all mechanical too. So it's all just pure gold. Now, when you look on here on the ground, or I should say the floor stand or the stand there that it's sitting on, um, for whatever reasons, there's like, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's like oil or something on it. it like like something got on it. It comes off, so I just need to wipe it off. And obviously something right here. So hopefully when you guys order them, you don't have this small defect, but I want to point it out. So if you look closely at this uh, flower, you see there's like a little dot right there. It's like something got on it, glue. Maybe, I think that's glue, um, where it's probably holding this flower down. And you can see here, there is some dots right there, which looks like maybe some glue that was dropped onto the uh, the stand there. That, so I'm not sure if those can come off. I don't think it is. And I don't want to damage it anymore. But you can see like, um, I don't know if you can see on the, the bottom there, there's some kind of like some little specks. It's kind of like, a, I don't know if it's oil or grease or what it is, but it does come off. So I just need to get a little paper towel or something and just wipe it off. So the stand is pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of his like flower, right? You know how he throws his flower down and when someone walks on it, it kind of does the kind of like spinning and then it slowly blows up. Um, so really cool. Um, has that same kind of design or at least giving it that, that perception of it. On the bottom of the figure, we do have, it says here, 2020 Riot Games, and it says designed in California, and it was made in China. So uh, I'll point that out right there for you guys to see. And that is the new Jin figure, the number 14 Unlock series from Riot Games. So hopefully this was a great unboxing for all of you to check out for this new gen figure. And hopefully it gives you the great decision of either purchasing it for one of your best friends, buddies, whoever that plays League of Legends and they just love gen, they main gen. Or maybe you're the one that who mains gen and you just love this character and you want to have it next to your desk while you're playing League of Legends. So either way, I'm a collector. I love League of Legends. I don't play as much as I used to. I used to play over 10 years. A lot of fun. Uh, but the... Uh, this is definitely a cool figure. I'm definitely gonna add it to my other figures, which are way up there. You can't see it in the video, unfortunately. Um, but I have all of them, and you guys have seen them on the previous video, and that will be added to uh, my other Unlock Statue series of collection. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you have any questions, write it in the comments below. I typically comment back. And Look out for my next couple of videos. I have a couple more new statues here to show you guys. So look forward to those as those are coming, especially that new Ari unlocked figure. Anyways, this is Aaron. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace out.